I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. Okay, I do not know how that girl literally made it look so easy. This girl's hair was so much shorter and thinner than mine, so hopefully it works on me too. Is that center? That is definitely not center, but you know what? We're gonna roll with it. Circle it, a little circle, circle going on here, and then take a ponytail and wrap it around it. There we go, did we do it? Oh, we did it, look at that. Now, I've got to split my little mini bun in half. I'm gonna take this hair and pull it off. Oh my Oh, okay. Okay, I'm kinda of feeling that. I'm gonna come back like a boomerang. I feel like this one would definitely be easier if you had like shorter and thinner hair, but it definitely still works with people who have like long and thick hair. So yeah, like now I don't even need my balls. Pretty firm. Pretty firm. Oh. <sighs> Alright, I'll do the next hair hack. Now this next hair hack incorporates my favorite thing in the entire world, Starbucks. So apparently you can make the best messy bun with using a Starbucks lid. I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. So I mean this kind of gives me an excuse to go to Starbucks right now. Okay guys, let me put you on right now. Go to Starbucks and order an iced coffee with three pumps of white mocha and sweet cream and oh my gosh. You will thank me later. So I'm gonna make a beautiful bun just out of the lid of my Starbucks cup. Okay, that's kind of gross. Just coffee all over this. Now as much as I like coffee, I do not want my hair smelling like coffee. Okay, so step one is I have to put my hair in a high ponytail. Kind of like twisted his hair to get it through the lid. Oh, oh yes, okay, okay. Now he like spread his hair out. Oh my God, I can't see, I can't see. And then he took another elastic just like this and put it right on top of the dome lid. Then he took his hair, he just kind of twisted it all around. And then we will secure it with some bobby pins. It's no ballerina bun, but I mean, it's definitely something. Look at that little donut bun. All right, now we gotta go into the firmness test. All right, ready? Like, it's about to fall out, but it didn't fall out. I'm gonna give this like a 6.5. Like, it definitely did fall out, but if I was on a roller coaster right now, oh, my hair would be everywhere. Tell your parents you wanna do this look so it gives you an excuse to go to Starbucks. Now before we get into this next hair hack, I would like to thank Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. So this is my first time working with Function of Beauty and I need to show you guys how cute the bottles are with your name customized on it. So if you guys look at these bottles, it actually says Function of Mackenzie on the side of it and you can customize it whatever name you want. So obviously these bottles are very meaningful to me because I am Mackenzie. Because I am Addison Ray, and, and I also got super cute stickers to customize all of the bottles that they gave me. Similar to skincare, hair care is never one size fits all, which is why Function of Beauty creates a 100% customizable shampoo and conditioner to your unique hair. To find out what your customizable shampoo and conditioner would look like, you'll want to take their short two minute quiz to build your unique hair profile. My current hair goals are to grow long and healthy hair that is not frizzy. So for all of my products, I chose the peach and mandarin fragrance and it literally smells so good. So I've been using the products and I have seen a huge improvement on how like soft and blonde my hair is. And what I love about 
ultimate beauty is that literally everything can be customized to you. I can even choose the colors of all my products. So I know many of you want to ensure that you are using quality ingredients, which is another reason why I love Function of Beauty. They have no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins, and are 100% vegan and cruelty free. Because you don't want any nasty chemicals damaging your hair. And that's on period. Function of Beauty also offers other hair care products just like this hair mask. So do your hair a favor and take the short two minute quiz. When you're ready to order, make sure to click the custom link in my description to get 20% off your first order so you can save money and help support my channel. So guys, I don't know about you, but whenever I wear these like super small clear elastics and take them out, they always rip out so much of my hair, but I found a TikTok hair hack that is about to save our lives. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put the essential oil. Oh, that is the coolest thing I have ever seen in my life. I don't know if this is true, but I'm really hoping it is because I am sick of ripping all of my hair out. I'm gonna pour some onto my Q-tip. Nothing is happening. So far that was kind of a fail. Maybe I just have to like drop it on it. Okay, I'm gonna take my essential oil and just pour it on it. What? Nothing is happening. Like not even a little bit. Now I have essential oil in my hair. It didn't work the first time. Let's try it again. Maybe that was just a bad elastic. You know, it could be. Literally nothing. Literally nothing. This this is a lot. I am so heartbroken right now because now I have to rip out all my hair and take it out. Ow. Now this next hair hack is gonna show me how to get straight across bangs without having to cut my hair. Because I mean, cutting your hair, that's a big risk. What if I hate it? There is no going back once you get bangs. I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. my hair in the middle again and then we do a little twist we do a little twist of the ties in the front <laughs> oh my god imagine i just looked like this okay pin stay okay okay i'm feeling it kind of looks like a rat's nest up there okay wait let's curl this let's curl it a little you know i think it could work this is really hard to do with really long hair guys this is just not the most flattering look on me. Maybe if I put a headband on. Do you think a headband will help this? All right, I'm back and I brought a headband. Maybe this will hide all my insecurities. Okay, I kind of feel this now. I, I feel the vibe. How do we like it? Do we like it? Do we bangs? Do we not? I don't know, let me know. All right, now it's time for the firmness test. I feel like this one is not gonna pass. Yeah, that didn't really work out. Now this next one is bomb because I don't have to wake up in the morning and curl my hair for an hour. All I have to do is put a few socks in my hair, go to sleep, wake up, and my hair apparently will have luscious curls. I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. So here's my socks. Look at them. They're so cute. They have smiley faces on them. So now I'm gonna put the sock at the top of my root and twist my hair all around the sock. Okay, sort of looks like this. Now to make it stay, I'm gonna twist it up into like a bun and then put a little hair elastic on it. Okay, I'm just twisting my hair elastic all around my hair. Okay, and now I'm gonna do it to the other side too. Wow, this definitely reminds me of my first look where I had bows on each side of my head. So yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep now and Tomorrow morning, I will show you guys the results. The following day. Okay, so last night, I tried not to move my head at all, so my curls would stay in. So now, it is time to take them out. Oh, okay. Look at that bounce. Check that. That actually looks so cute. Oh my gosh. I love how it looks like a little crimpy. Like, oh, yes. This actually looks like way cuter than I was expecting. Okay, let's take the other one out. Oh, okay. Yes, girl, look at this. Wow, heat-free curls. Oh my God, this hack actually works. I'm so excited, this is so cute. Okay, so this side fell out a little bit here, but that's probably my fault for not curling it tight enough. I mean, thanks to TikTok for making all of our lives way easier. So this hair hack definitely worked. Now we gotta put it to the test, ready? <sighs> But you know what? Still looks fabulous! Congratulations to Carly Kabir for being our post notification winner. 
If you guys want to be our next post notification winner, all you have to do is turn those post notifications on and comment done when you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I also just created my Roblox YouTube channel. And if you guys want to be the first to see my newest video, make sure to go subscribe to that channel and turn the post notifications on. The link to the new channel is in the description directly below. I cannot wait to be creating so many fun Roblox videos for all of you guys. And always make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn those post notifications on so you get an alert every time I upload a new video. And remember guys, always be a unicorn. Bye! Okay, is this ready yet? Ow! Note to self, don't touch a hot curler.